Something brand new appears to be going on with free speech on campus and in the country. Is it new? We're joined now by someone with actual perspective, author and columnist Charles Krauthammer. Charles, when you're in the middle of something like this and things seem to be going crazy and they do seem to be going crazy, the question is, you know, has this, is this really a new thing? It does seem, I've never seen anything like this. Well, I mean, we saw some of it in the 60s uh, when the university administrators would cave in a famous case at Cornell, some radical students carrying guns. And by and large, administrations were supine. They still are. But the danger here is that we're reaching a situation where the thugs threatening violence, basically fascist gangs, can shut down free speech. Yes. You talked about how we're now fundamentally divided in ways, even down to the foods we eat and what we read. But the one thing that used to unite left and right, even in the bitterest times in the 50s, M McCarthyism, people would say things like liberals would say, I don't believe, I don't support anything you say, but I'll defend your right to say yes. it. That was a cliche. And it almost became something that you would, I mean, it was so obvious that you could mock it. But where is that gone? If you can't have the government guaranteeing the safety of speakers, then we have lost the, one of the fundamental uniting elements of our society. If there's anything that unites us, believe in the First Amendment, believe in f free speech. Whenever you talk about America, what makes us unique, we believe in liberty. It begins with religious liberty, and it also begins with free speech. And if you can't get agreement on defending that, I mean, the, the, the obligation of any authority right now is to say Ann Coulter can speak and we will protect her. That's why you pay your taxes, that's why we have a police, and we are not gonna allow a gang of thugs, really fascist gangs, this is how it started in Europe in the 20s and the 30s. Fascist gangs would literally intimidate their opponents to the point where they became dominant. I don't think they're gonna take over, this is not Mussolini, but nonetheless, it is very disturbing that in America, somebody cannot speak because there are thugs who threaten violence. I agree with that completely. I, I first started reading you when I was a kid in a liberal magazine, The New Republic, and I think everyone on the masthead at the time would agree with what you just said. Where are those people now? Not specifically the writers of The New Republic, but where is the reasonable, principled left to defend Ann Coulter's right to That's speak? That's the question I had after your first segment with Mark Green. Mark Green is a very smart guy. Yes, he is. He's had official positions in the government in New York City. I mean, he's run 60 times for mayor and lost, but that happens to the best of them. But, I mean, he was <laughs> completely, he was pretending that we, we don't really have a president because he detests him. He's a divider. I don't like him, so I don't have to respect his authority. This is nuts. This doesn't happen. This is a poisoning. And I think it's a sign of decadence. If the left will not stand up for the elementary principles, we have a president, He's elected, he has authority, legitimate authority, and we proceed from there. We have free speech, you should be able to speak and not be shut down. If we can't get agreement on those principles, then we really are in a dangerous situation. And it is, I think, a manifestation of decadence, of a civilization that doesn't have enough confidence in its own righteousness in the end. Yes. For all of our flaws, if you don't have that kind of civilizational consciousness, you're finished. That is abs I agree with you 100%. I was hoping you were going to make me feel better. You didn't, but you did explain it. Thank you. Well, if you're, not, if you, you're feeling really bad, I'm still a licensed psychiatrist. I'm happy to write your prescription for antidepressants. <laughs> you're the only person I take pills from, doctor. Thank you. Okay.